Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Leftists lose their minds as Trump boards Air Force One and they see what he did to his left shoe. Can we talk? Look, the toilet paper stuck to a shoe stick is funny. Come on, you know it is. Anyone shuffling heedlessly along while a kind of gross white banner trails beneath them? Amusing. I'm not sure why, but it is. Maybe because it puckishly confirms we're all human. We're all prone to embarrassing, pardon the pun, missteps. We all cover our tootsies one piece of footwear at a time, and sometimes TP gets stuck to it. If it were Obama dragging a mischievous item, the quips from my beloved political and cultural right would be gushing like a fire hose, hard and fast, and hilarious. It's funny even when it happens to a friend, a hero, a mother, or to President Donald Trump, and it's okay to admit that. Here's the Huffington Post, Thursday. TP or not TP? That is the question after President Donald Trump boarded Air Force One with something stuck to his shoe. And to many, it looked like a trail of toilet paper following him from his limo up the stairs and to the door of the aircraft as he left Minneapolis on Thursday. It's not clear if it was toilet paper, a napkin or just a sticky and persistent piece of paper, but whatever it was detached itself from his foot at the top of the staircase. Across the pond, the Metro UK joined in, in a poorly constructed sentence. By the way, musing thusly. Despite trailing behind him all the way, 72 year old seemed completely unaware of the incident, obliviously stopping to turn and wave once he reached the top. The actual problem? The precincts of progressivism being what they are, the mainstream media industrial complex operating the way it does, this good natured gaff will be preposterously and mercilessly transmogrified. It will be so beaten into the ground, so gleefully over focused upon and inflated into a major, international howler of an incident, some who might otherwise snicker at the episode and then move blindly forward will, instead, find themselves tempted to sneer at those obsessing spitefully over it, and double down on whatever favorability they felt toward the president before lawfare de Charmin. So, how long will Jimmy Kimmel smirkingly slobber over this anecdote? Will Colbert devote one joke to the toilet paper topic? Or five of them? This weekend, will SNL whip up an entire skit around it? Then, watch, the monolithic left will pile on, audaciously pounding lookers on over the head, Trump might have had a bit of tissue affixed to his footwear, therefore, he's done nothing right over the past 21 months, he's the stupidest person ever to inhabit the White House, he has to be impeached. Toilet paper on the heel? That's gotta be a high crime and misdemeanor somehow. We are all that toilet paper, Molly Jong. Today, Trump boarded Air Force One with toilet paper stuck to his shoe. How the Found Fathers Wanted It If you haven't laughed yet today, here's a video of President Trump walking up the stairs to Air Force One with toilet paper stuck to his shoe. While this isn't grounds for the 25th Amendment, it does fit the pattern of Trump just being a fucking idiot. Holly Figaro O'Reilly I've long said liberals don't understand, their unhinged obsession with ridiculing Trump over everything he does, just watch a handful of episodes of The View if you can stomach it, mixed together with their obtuse refusal to tip their hat to him ever, ever for anything, it all plays a decisive role in shepherding straight onto 45 side multitudes who, minus it, might have remained undecided or only mildly supportive towards him. The determination of the frantically lib media and daffy Hollywood to make great hay over giggly, but relatively dispensable. Situations like this TP thing is the comedic equivalent of the left's perfidy on much more consequential matters, like the Kavanaugh nomination, to cite the rawest example. Over and over and over again, every day, 24-7, they hammer away mockingly and mean-spiritedly at America's chief executive. They tear him down, often dishonestly and certainly unrepentantly. Meanwhile, normal folks are disgusted by their nastiness and dissimulation, to a degree that, even those who entertain certain cavils with our famously flamboyant, one of a kind chief executive, toss aside their reservations and toss in with him just out of revulsion at the malignant mendacity of modern day progressivism. Remember when it was a big, gasp inducing story that Donald Trump had a second serving of ice cream at some social function? That one turned out to be as empty as the president's bowl when he'd finished the evening's dessert. How about the hushed whispers a while ago that Melania was imprisoned in her loveless marriage? That greasy rumor was based on what? Exactly? Um. Not much. On a much weightier note, recall the charge that the racist Trump had slandered all Latinos as animals, when, in fact, he had plainly only called members of the homicidal, raping and torturing MS-13 gang by that derisive moniker. It was transparently and immediately clear to anyone who bothered to actually listen to what he spoke. 
many an everyday American, even some not naturally inclined to enthusiasm for DT, see this nonsense accumulating on the leftward side, and they react. And not in a way that helps leftist causes. If Team Trump are watching all this unfold, and I suspect they are, they might be torn, should they hope his political adversaries knock it off and take a stab at a dash of fairness and a sense of proportion toward the administration? Or continue quietly please their foes maniacal and underhanded eruptions against all things Donald Trump are inadvertently goosing the momentum Trump's way, as they've been doing for some time now. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.